Power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor brushes. The brushes are located behind the brush doors. The doors are secured with a screw. I'll go ahead and remove the screw. Now remove the door. I'll need to loosen the nut on the spade handle so the door will clear. Now I'll remove the screw that secures the brush lead and the brush to the housing. And I can remove the brush. I'll do the same process on the other side of the tool. Next, I'll separate the gearbox and armature assembly from the motor housing. It's secured with four screws. Now I can separate the two halves. Now I'll separate the two halves of the gearbox. And I'll use a rubber mallet to separate the armature from the gearbox housing. I'll use a bearing puller to remove the bearing from the armature shaft. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll place it over the armature shaft and use a socket that has a diameter about the same as the inner race on the bearing. The socket also will need to fit over the armature shaft and I'll tap it into place. Now I'll reinstall the geared case housing back onto the armature. I'll place it over the armature shaft and align it with the bearing. I'll use a socket that fits over the shoulder on the casting and I'll tap it into place. And now I can reinstall the armature. And I'll reconnect the two halves of the tool. Now I can reinstall the brushes. I'll line the brush with the brush holder, insert it into the holder, and reconnect the wire lead. The wire lead will sit on top of the metal tab on the brush. And I repeat this on the other side. And I'll finish by reinstalling the brush covers. And now you can replace the ball bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up a comment.